Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. The fuck is going on here? Uh, Ross has been <laughs> abducted, and he just got back. <laughs> Who the fuck was he abducted from? By. Who questions. was he abducted by? Or from? No, where from? Who by? <laughs> I mean, English, we motherfucker. Could agree to disagree. Why do I always have to go Sam Jackson on you? I don't understand. <laughs> what is happening? Your new best friend is here, <laughs> Freddie Wong. You duct tape my fucking mouth because all you wanted to do is chat with Freddie Wong. Now I'm sitting on a huge goddamn couch by myself, dude. Your best friend in the whole fucking world. <laughs> Freddie Wong is here, seen, ladies and gentlemen. You're not seeing our bracelets? You've got that? two amazing shows on here, Freddie, but what you don't know, mm. now that three's a charm, Jared's been obsessed with you for fucking years and years and years. <laughs> I've and heard. Years. And he's like, oh. When we get to L.A., oh, dude, can we get Tom Cruise? Nope. <laughs> can we get fucking George Clooney? Nope. Man, all no, I no, want that's is, who they were offering. Is they, they, Wong, offering. Dude. they kept oh, pushing yeah, yeah. it on us. Gerard Butler was uncomfortably G-butts. pushed upon you us. You kept like, calling yeah. him G-Butts. Yeah, they were like. That might have been All that. he wanted was Freddie fucking Wong over and over again. I wanted somebody that consistently makes good shit. Yeah. Guess what, bitches? You got me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you may be what? right. You may be wrong. I, I'm not in the loop of, of this Christian Bale conversation that you were You're having. fucking joking. Well, I don't know what you were talking about. You're talking Him about yelling at the DP. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 and, yeah. And Terminator. It wasn't, well, it wasn't the DP. It was a, a light grip. It was a gaffer. Yeah. Or a gaff. No, 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 no. It was the DP. Yeah, it was the DP. Yeah. 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 He was and fucking around with the lights or something? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why was the DP Bros! fucking around with right. the lights? Right. Exactly. That's a good question. Yes, exactly. exactly. Like, at fr- I remember when I first heard that, I had never made a movie before. And then, yeah. and I was like, oh, man, Christian Bale's an asshole. Oh, man, then he was you, so cool. Then you get to be a veteran in production, and you're like, what, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing right now? <laughs> yeah. It's one of those things where, like, as soon as the second I heard that tape. Yeah. I was like, oh, I side with Christian Bale. I'm sure that guy was being a fucking asshole. Yeah, it was kind of yeah. like how Anne Frank's hiding up in the attic. <laughs> oh my god, dude! And there's some can guy we eating go potato one, chips in the corner? Can we have one <laughs> got Frankless the sun chips episode? Bag. <laughs> no. I just want one we Frankless got no episode. Frankless this entire trip. Oh man, no Franks given. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the name of this episode. No Franks given. Dude. You guys been on the Anne Frank kick? No Frank left behind. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Oh, I, I love yeah. it for like two months now. I, I mean, yeah. it's been a couple years. So Ross and I did an episode. Where we got super high in and you Las hid Vegas, in an attic, and we <laughs> decided that we were going to spend that time coming up with an idea for a movie and writing it on the show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. but on the spot, like yeah. never thought yeah, of yeah, before, yeah, yeah. Or never conceptualized this. anything, and it, yeah. and it was trans Frank, trans Frank, <laughs> trans Frank versus Nazi zombies, and it was about Anne Frank, who obviously had to be turned trans to kill these zombies. Right, it was one German scientist left that was going to help her. Got it. And yep, yep. Uh, and then the 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 penis sewing scene mm. was I think it was five minutes and fifty six <laughs> seconds, <laughs> but big, long, really, like really looping, artistic sews. though, real artistic. Back yeah. to what I was saying, Jared plays the brother Jeremy Frank, who won't stop making fucking noise the whole time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just eating Doritos, like, and they're not even in the time period. And he's it's also like, not he's not even using like a German accent or anything. No, nope. <laughs> it's just straight like, hey. <laughs> lazy as shit. Eating eating objects Shut up, that are Ann. from yeah, eating objects that are from this century where you're just like, wait a minute. That's I uh, I have an I have an Anne Frank story. So when I was at Fox, I worked at 20th Century Fox, and we had to. I was like an intern. I'm gonna stop you at I have an Anne Frank story. I already love you. <laughs> I already love you. <laughs> You've already made me the happiest human being. If this is 400 and something episodes, no one has ever come on and said <laughs> I have an Anne Frank story I just for you. you. That. Uh, <laughs> um, so we so we have we you know one of the things we were tasked to do was like this was I worked in new media, so it was like what can we make video games out of from the Fox library? So we were going through the list, like the studio list of all the properties they own and we were supposed to compile a list of like here's some old properties that we maybe can do a video game or like an MMO out of or something so we're going through and like as a joke we're like Fox owns the diary of Anne Frank like the film like yeah that's really that's thrown on there so we made this list and we sent it to our boss who did not read the list and then sent it up to his people upstairs and he got called in he's like 
what the fuck are you thinking? Are you kidding me? And he had to be like, uh, it's like, um, it's uh, like on the spot. It's an educational title that we could maybe talk a little bit about. Like, it's educational. It's not like a game, not like the other ones. <laughs> So I got him in hot water. He's like, guys, don't just send me stuff Holy without shit. checking it. Right? That's amazing. But to be honest, what was though, good life lesson? That what? video game would be amazing. What would but how would that survival horror? Yes. Survival horror. Yes. Yeah. How would that conversation have gone if they he walked in the office and they said, "What the fuck?" and he just went, "Yeah, she realizes she has to go, man." <laughs> Starts injecting herself with hormones and what she a, fights the zombies. What about an fired. Ant, like straight fired. Faced, fired. Fired. Just straight gone. Faced. What fired about a, the spot? What about an Anne Frank escape room? <laughs> oh my god! In your house? But oh you, my god! You always lose. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's in your house. It's in your house. Yeah. It's yeah. like a panic room. They come to your. No, I'm talking about like an escape room. It's game. like an Amsterdam. Got it. Yeah. I, want, I almost want an Anne Frank panic room where it's you know. Boom, and then you're inside the the closet. And what's the di- sorry? What's the difference between that and just a regular panic room? Yeah, uh, the, I think the Anne Frank one, it, just a I, large painting. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I also want the bare essentials. Like I don't want any, you know, I don't want a digital television or just like, like a journal that you I can want write in. She had some nice leather shoes. Yes, yeah. some, some patent yeah. leather a shoes. Chidney, a chimney sweep. Yeah, like I want. I want to feel like I'm a part of it. You know. I, w- I want my own thing going on, Freddie. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, I, like, I want some crackers, it's some really saltless cold saltines. in there. Yeah. Like, no heat, no ventilation. No, no, no. I mean, I no. mean, the AC's set to like forty. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, some, there's some fat guy named Jeremy eating chips in the corner. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is that my role? That's your role in life, guy. I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's your role in training. You're some fat guy in the corner zombies. eating chips and everything. There's much worse roles out there. That's let a pretty me, good one. Let me all ask you this, Freddie, because you're a master of like YouTube and all that shit, right? Mm. Hypothetical. Let's say we shot that, didn't tell anybody <laughs> oh my on God. our own. And, then, <laughs> and just released it on an anonymous YouTube channel. Oh, my God. Just put it out into like the world. Like a full feature film. Yes. Full 90 minutes. Would they pull it really in good. today's world? I think they pull it. In. I mean, it depends on how violent it got because it's fucking violent, dude. Yeah, it's probably getting pulled. Yeah, like man. you said, unless, uh, unless, unless, unless you that target kids with it, then you're all good, baby. Just got hit the. You got how target it you towards. Do that, I'm just saying. Though. I think we might put them in their own looped conundrum where they can't pull it because it could be shown as transphobic. Well, you have to. You have to, st- <laughs> you have to start it. You have to start it with on black, white letters like. This is based on true historical events. Exactly. Well, yeah, obviously, that's how I started Helen Keller vs. Night Wolves. <laughs> so, like, that's a real movie that's out in the world. And that's how I started. Of like, the following is a true story. Everything's based yeah, on perfect. True story. Yeah. So, with Frank, you would have to do the same thing. Uh, what, what movie, if you could make anything, no repercussions? No repercussions. Nothing. Oh, boy, like, oh boy, no oh boy. fucking kickback. You wouldn't lose your job. You wouldn't get a strike. Yeah. It would, it would just, you, you, would, you were able to upload it and. And see what the audience, how the audience reacts. Um, ooh, ooh, this is a divisive one. Yeah, I had an idea because, like, I I remember, I remember people were talking about arming school teachers. Yes, and I remember distinctly being like, I know a lot of school teachers. I wouldn't arm them. <laughs> the people I know, granted, you know, of of the circle of school teachers I know, I'm like, yeah, they got, like. They got difficulty handling manual transmission. I wouldn't arm the people I know, at least with teachers. So the idea was to do, uh, you do like, <laughs> and again, I don't think there's any world where you could ever do this, but you do like a Rambo suit up sequence of like teachers in a school. And it's like ah, responding right. to, responding to, you know, say an, an, an like attack or something. Or something. Yeah. And they're yeah, like, yeah. God. And it's like they got, you know, the, they got secret compartments and they're like getting strapped up and stuff like that. And then just like the moment they step out, it's just total chaos because they're teachers, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's basic. That was basically they just it. lose. They would lose. Yeah, I'm just saying, like they, they would step out into the hallway and they would just be like cops. Like, what are you doing? You look like an you are. Are you guys? You know, it's like it would be chaos. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because I just don't think really that's a great good idea. idea for a remake. A couple actually. Okay. Uh, it's Quantum Leap. Okay. But he keeps leaping into the bodies of gay men. <laughs> 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 but like, what about like s- hypersexual gay men? Yeah, like, just like, and, but yeah. he's a just he's a power bottom, and he just keeps getting fucked. So this is drilled. like a, this is like a Pornhub series. It could be, yeah. Yeah. How, how come nobody's thinking about uploading 
uh, series. We've been talking, we've been about, talking about. Oh, you guys have very, this. very seriously for a while. No shit. Yeah, yeah, and it's because they're monetizing now. Yeah. So with the monetization of that, what's to stop normal people from making fucked up shit? And like, we had somebody from the porn industry. Actually, we had a fucking dinner with him the other night. Yeah, a um, fucking dinner. It really mm. was. Where yeah. It was just like, oh, man, like the, all of these people had been fucked maybe hours earlier. And then they were just at this dinner. Like we were supposed to pretend that they don't, you know, didn't have come on their face an hour earlier. And they were, you know, putting bread on, like <laughs> asking for, oh, can I have another dirty martini? It was just like, you smell like fucking cum. Um, <laughs> but we asked him, like, what are the quotes of these girls? What are they getting? You know, and he was just like, well, look, you know, dick inside girl like you know the guy's getting like 300 the girl's getting 2500 and it was just like all right from a production standpoint my mind starts turning where i'm like oh this God. is really cheap i mean jesus christ we paid range 15 yeah, 2500 like three you know 2500 doesn't get you, was our, you know like, 2500 doesn't get you any location anywhere in los angeles well you can get an airbnb that's right? true that's true so you get an airbnb and that's the biggest worry now because even here yeah there's a Somebody brought their fucking dog, right? And yeah. um, uh, when it came through, there was a camera on the outside, and we immediately, boop, 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 phone rang. Yeah. Uh, we heard there's a dog there, and it's just like, you didn't hear there was a fucking dog here. You saw it on camera. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah. you would have to bring in people one by one. But if you rented out an Airbnb, shot it in here, like, you know, use different locations inside the house or any state outside of Los Angeles, yeah, let's yeah. face it. The state of Los Angeles. Because we certainly. did episode 100 where they were fucking in Denver, and it was just like, yeah. what, $300 for the night? Like, Not even that. Yeah. So uh, if you did it in that, like, it would be really cheap. Yeah. You'd make a fuck ton of money, right? Uh, yeah. You could monetize the shit out of it. I mean, it, it. Depends on how, it depends on how the monetization works, obviously. For Pornhub? Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm not sure how there's... Is it like a thousand per million views like YouTube or something? Or is it... Subscription-based yeah, subscription service. Based, who knows? Yeah, I'm not sure. There's like, got, it, I know there's a tip feature on Pornhub, too. So yeah, there is. Adjust the tip feature? Yeah. I yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, and I know... What is it? YouTube is like, what, two to three thousand per million? Depending on yeah, the depends season, on the, but yeah. 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 Less. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, for Pornhub, if you're... You're talking the same type of figures, and you made something really like brothers fuck scared sister during tornado. I yep. think that was one of Jared's favorite porns of all time. <laughs> it's the best. <laughs> yeah, is that a? There's uh, so many adjectives there. I know. I know. There's so I much. I found this and immediately sent it to him. Like <laughs> this is the best titled porn I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's so specific. It is. It's a long title, but when it starts, like, and you but hear I that mean, tornado, you then, understand no, it. I mean, we now have a brother fuck scared <laughs> sister during shipwreck. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brother fuck scared sister during report card season. But like, when you hear the tornado coming, that's when the fear really gets gets ramped. Do up. they do like do they like shake some stuff off the walls and like do a little yeah, production yeah, yeah. with I it? I think it's just a, like the camera. Yeah, well, the, the camera shakes. This back is and where forth. this is where you can revolutionize Correct. this, right? This like, is why. So like, yeah. what, what would be the, the <laughs> now? Now here's where we are, Freddie. Okay. We know where to monetize. Yeah. We know where to shoot cheaply. Yeah. What is the idea or series that we? I do think on you have Pornhub? to throw. It's I a quantum butt leap is what it is. Uh, but I don't want to see two gay dudes fucking. You don't have all the to, time. bro. But, but hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But you do need to understand that with like romance novels. Uh, the the world of self published romance novels on like Amazon and stuff like yeah. that. The ones that make the most money yeah. are the really specific like fetishes. It's oh, not yeah, the yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, the yeah. vanilla like for every man type of stuff. It's like sure. the really weird specific stuff because the people who are looking for the weird specific stuff are willing to pony up, right? Yeah. yeah. So that's what you need to be thinking about. You need to be thinking about how specific can you get, well, so right? J Jerry likes vacation porn, right? But, Sorry, what? Yeah, vacation porn. Like he wants to see a whole family go on vacation, <laughs> and then the the parents fuck. Like that's his whole thing. <laughs> this is not a thing. This, this, oh, yeah, this yeah. is not yes, what it yeah, is. Yes, <laughs> this is real. Yes, but, it's but, like an hour. Eight, each one is like an hour and fifty minutes. <laughs> they go to Disneyland. I mean, they go all over the place: the Bahamas, Hawaii. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the, the trips are endless. <laughs> obviously, there's yeah, so you go many anywhere. amazing American landmarks that people there's some really good get to ones, see. Like, uh, one, went, one family went to Flint, Michigan, and they just were chugging a lot of water. Just drinking the water, just drinking <laughs> water all the time. <laughs> and then one, of the, one of the issues is, is a lot of these are like uh, borderline incest situations. Well, people seem to be really into that. Yeah, big I don't know. Right yeah, now. I don't. What know is if, up with? Like, I don't know if they think people got into that, or if it's maybe they're trolling us. It's a fucking feedback loop man because like yes. I, I, I see it it's just like is it everybody's got to be a brother and sister now at this point well, like yeah. it's like it here's, doesn't work unless deal, though like there's one there's one that i actually like 
and it's a stepmom and son, older son, like maybe 19, 20, and they, they're waiting for dad to show up in town, but he got delayed some for some reason. A couple days. Yeah. She no goes, storm. She goes, no, well, I don't it's know what pl- it was. It's planes, trains, and automobiles, yeah. basically, yeah. but poor. Yeah, basically, yeah, sure. Yeah. So she goes uh, down. He's tired. He wants to take a nap. She goes down to the beach, gets hammered during the day, comes up and fucks him. This is a very elaborate plot. It, well, it is, There's yeah. a lot of here's the deal, set up. Yeah. If I'm 18, 19, I got a hot-ass stepmom with big fake titties, and she goes down to the beach and gets drunk, and dad's not going to be there a couple days, I'm probably going to fuck her, man. I'm not going to lie. Like a stepmom? Yeah, stepmom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not, a real thing that could happen. Your own mom, yeah. That's a real thing that could happen for sure. Sure. And if you were, uh, you know, in your teens, 16, 17 years old, and your fucking dad married some chick and she had a fucking banging ass 16 or 17 year old daughter, you would be trying to fuck her all the time. Probably. Probably. So what's the problem? Well, so I had I had this incident happen in my school. Like, so my friend uh, was dating this girl for almost a year, and mm-hmm. then their his. His dad and her mom met and ended up started dating and moved in with each other. So when we were in ninth grade, he shared a room with his girlfriend. Whoa. And the only reason their parents met was because of them two dating. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Re-explain that. Okay. My buddy. Yep. He had divorced parents. Okay. He was dating this girl for a year in right. junior high. And after a year, his dad met her mom. They ended up dating too. And then moved in together. Ah. So he was, him and I his understand. girlfriend shared a room in their parents' house when we were like 15 years old. Go. Jesus dude. Christ. What was that like? I mean, he was the coolest kid ever. Like, we were giving him high fives every day. Like, That's so I mean, weird. you remember, like, when you're 14, 15, 16, like, it's actually hard to find alone time or a place. Oh, yeah. Like, and now, wait, you're sharing a room with your girlfriend right, every right, night right. going to bed? I was a single child, so I didn't have to worry about any of that. Um, but I, I think we're on to something with the Flint water. I would yeah, like to see a yeah, yeah, Flint yeah. Water crisis <laughs> see, yeah, but that's the thing is we can start making the most fucking obscure bullshit ever. Like, like well, but here's the thing. You just get, you get like an AI to generate these for you. Like, have it like feed through like all the search, <laughs> uh, like look, go through Google Trends and just be like, listen, guys. Okay, someone needs to step on this cake, and we need a close-up of the foot, and it needs to be in the Bahamas during the vacation, and it's three, and they're all step-siblings, I guess. It's a family and reunion, it's 3D. <laughs> yeah. and it's 3D, and they're playing, and it's on the billiards table, and it's just like, this has 20 trillion views. How do we do it? This is the most popular video on the internet. We have to, you have to let the it's robots like, dictate. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much, you know, girl... It's Upset like Mad Libs. over Mueller it's Mad Libs. findings. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gets fucked. Stepbrother. By stepbrother Republican <laughs> who voted for Beto. Yeah. <laughs> so when you search these things, he's got a Beto button <laughs> just digging her out on a billiards table. <laughs> I, I, I want to lobby for fuck me out of Flint. I, I, I think... <laughs> I think, you know, uh, you I know what the feel gets, good. I think she gets a she gets uh, maybe, sick. A, yeah, sick, and she gets a the doc. She goes into the doctor, and the doctor's like, "Look, if you have one more glass of this dirty ass water, <laughs> you're gonna die." You know how like, you? I, I can't afford to get out of the town. And he goes, "I know how you can afford to get out of the town. I can fuck you out of here." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got you know, and you make the monetization side. You make people feel good about this, right? You do that Tom's model where it's like a portion of the proceeds goes. Towards fixing the infrastructure. Towards flip. girls who <laughs> had to fuck. <laughs> now it's like now I feel I feel good about this. Yeah, tip. You need to yeah, tip me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each you know maybe two pennies out of every fifty dollars <laughs> goes toward fixing the water in yeah. Flint. Uh, fuck me out of Flint. That would would be awesome. And the doctor's just Santa like, Claus in July in the Bahamas on a rocking horse with his sister. Yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, you, you could go Are you just route. telling us what you want to see yeah, now? Yeah, exactly. that's what it seems like now. I want to see one clean glass of water on the table and one really dirty glass of water. And it's like, <laughs> look, you can drink one for the rest of your life or the other. Your call. Fuck me out of Flint. How are you going to get Michael more involved in this? Uh, oh, my gosh. He's the doctor. So it's, he's the fat doctor. He's just like, he's, he's got the, the hat on. State, huh? yeah. yeah, this is all a conspiracy. And he's just spouting off conspiracy theories during the whole thing. See, he's a pretty in shape guy, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Michael can, Moore, he's not. He's got about 15 to 18 seconds of stamina on him. 4 4 4, four at the combine this year. I, NFL what do you think his dick looks like? <laughs> what do I think his dick looks Michael like? Michael Moore, yeah. Oh, God. I, I think it, a can of Monster Energy drink. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee that's you. That's giving him a lot of, of Monster of Energy. You never know. You never know. 
Just yeah. saying. Here's what know. I know. He doesn't know what it looks like. Because he hasn't seen his <laughs> dick in 25 years. Oh, easily. Easily. Nor does anyone else want to see that dick. I w- I'd like to see it. Really? Oh. Just, just to see it's it. It's just raw curiosity. Because it's Michael point. Moore? Because it's a flint dick. Uh, flint dick. All right. See what that water's doing. See what that water does. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be negative what, side effects. Yeah, could seriously. be positive side effects. Like you're getting like throat cancer or stomach cancer or whatever, but your dick is... Yeah, it's got to balance out somewhere. That, I'll yeah. take, looks yeah. younger. I'll take that risk. I'll go up there with a bunch of medicine and radiation and just try to fucking work out the balance. Okay. I'll come out of there with a Where are you getting radiation? From the sun, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Or I'll just take a microwave with me and keep the door open. No, good point, good point. I, I hear Stick all that. Stick my dick in there. Yeah, yeah, it's really easy to trip the microwave door open. I used to do that all the time to help me study. Yeah, yeah, of course you did. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you put, maybe put put more like radioactive shit around the room too. Like I'm really getting into this now and I think this, this should Adding be. Adding radiation to your home? You, well, to, to the squirrel's world. Yeah, you got to get her out of there. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be an underdog story. Yeah, you know? there's got to be gotta some. Be She's got the, some kind of talent too. What, what is right. she tap dance? I don't know. No, rings. Rings? Yeah, no. she's bouncing on the no, rings. Nothing, nothing athletic. It's something mental. It's like a good I'm speller. I'm tired of the athletic stories. I want to hear yeah, something yeah, about yeah. somebody oh, that's got Sudoku. Sudoku. She's, she's like a spelling bee She champ. knows how to do Sudoku. Oh, God. Really fast. Is she Asian? <laughs> no. She would have to be Asian no, to do Sudoku. No, I mean, maybe a little bit, like 15%. Yeah, it depends. Like, how much is search engine optimization? How much Asian does this person and need what to yeah, be? Yeah, yeah. What type of Asian? Like, are Filipinos really good at math? You know, I know. I, I'd, East, I, generally you're looking at the East Asian races in terms of the stereotype. Sure. You know what the problem with Asian porn is? What's that? The blurring. It, I'm not saying the, the, the blurring. Blurring. Yeah. 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 Is the real problem. The censorship or the, or the noise that comes out of it? My, yeah. My personally, my issue is I, there's too many people who look very close to family members in Asian oh, porn. Oh, for you? Yeah. So the, so the so thing I, where they're like, oh, Asians look the same. I'm like, well, not necessarily, but like there's a certain degree of homogeny within the... And it's like, so I was like, there's definitely times of Asian porn. I'm like, nah, mm-mm, can't. So you're saying they do all look alike? I'm saying in the context of pornography, I have been challenged by the fact that many of them appear to resemble to a significant degree. Say it one more some time. Of Is that a boner challenge? And they all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> they all look alike. <laughs> I'm sorry for your boner challenge. <laughs> I am. Here's what I would say to that. Don't be a sex coward. That's fair. That's fair. That is true. <laughs> that's true. Why do I have to? Yeah, that's that true. I'm just true. I'm just holding myself back there if you think about it. Yeah. I, yeah. Do you date Asians in real life? Uh, I have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never have. Jared, no one's asked, bro. I'm just saying. I've never, <laughs> had, I've never had the opportunity. We know your type. Not one. No. Really? Isn't that like that's like a classic military thing, though, right? Yeah, but I just wherever we went, they're just they weren't abundant. Yeah, it depends on like first group, first special forces group guys. Right. A lot of them. Have Washington Asian State. Wise. Yeah. A lot of them have Asian wise. Really? Where where are they located? Washington State. Their main base is Washington State, but yeah, okay. they it's a high percentage. Asia, yeah. The Philippines, Thailand, like Philippines. That, Thailand. Gotcha. Yeah. Because of the region and all that stuff? Yeah. There's a lot of Asians in, uh, in Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Because yeah, there's so. a lot of Navy. Yeah. But well, nobody, also, no, nobody's bringing back Iraqi girls. Like, No. No. I mean, Iraqi girls are only hot until they're like 19 anyways. What happens after that? Uh, it's Iraq. 135 degrees. Yeah, uh. I'm sure if you extricated <laughs> one at a young age and brought her over, she'd stay hot. But poverty... That's Wait, now that's then that's really interesting because if you look at the history of like right there was like the whole post Vietnam War there was a lot of oh, right yeah. like well like yeah war brides and shows yeah, like yeah 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 yep not really huh yeah huh I I did, I told you my buddy he got one from uh right off the right off the ping pong ball right off the stage married one <laughs> what yeah same what? night say that again so oh boy there are these shows in Thailand there, I, I understand <laughs> that I understand that. <laughs> They're not married anymore, <laughs> so I feel okay telling this story. He was a big financial advisor out here, like I mean, for like some of the top, top, top celebrities. And uh-huh. his whole thing was, man, I am on fucking call all goddamn day. Yeah. Because I mean, if you lose a credit card or whatever, I mean, his phone would go off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time, and it was all these asshole celebrities who were just like, I'm fucked up. It's gonna happen. Yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. I got this guy and told me to invest in this. It's amazing. And he'd be like, bro. Don't I please don't. I can't answer this phone call for him, but he but he had to do right, it. Right, right, right. So finally, it got to the the point where it was like five or six years out here. He was just like, "Fuck this shit!" Like I'm lonely, uh, and he was very honest about it. He was yeah, like, I'm yeah. lonely. This fucking sucks. He had two weeks vacation at, at whatever financial firm this was, um, so he would always go to Thailand and mm-hmm. just blow it the fuck out for two weeks. I mean, 
go all in like yeah. as many women and all that stuff finally it was just like i'm, I'm gonna take one off the stage and bring her home and that's it uh and that's what he did and mm-hmm. the deal was that her family got to come like a couple of years later and all that shit and uh one of the happiest motherfuckers i've ever seen so maybe that that plays into part of it where you're just like all right cool i'm kind of checked out of society and i i just i know that i'm stuck doing x whatever that is right and now i'm i'm in it you know oh interesting yeah hmm. some kind of arranged situation yeah yeah I, his wasn't word. arranged at first and like man she it was weird like the first time we met her she cleaned up an entire party we were at someone else's house and it was like dude you don't have to do that we're at someone else's house here like um you don't know you know yeah 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 but it's it's fucking weird like so maybe that's part of it too where you're just like all right like for you you're a busy dude yeah. You're always doing shit all the time. Yeah. Wouldn't it just be easier just to fucking order and, and call it a day? <laughs> I mean, hell, I order. I, at this point, I'm post-mating pretty much every Everything, other meal. Right? So. Do you know how many fucking meals have been in and out of this house? Like, You ever thought about just dialing up a bride and saying, let's do it? Is this our, is this our, new, uh, is this our new startup? It's Postmates, but for human beings. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's, yeah. It's <laughs> Listen, we're going to take marriage. human trafficking, and we're going to be able to put <laughs> a nice S- app on X- it. Yeah. yeah. Five star review system and everything like that. Clean it right You're up. Not really trafficking if they want to be. That's there, true. Though. Yeah, yeah. You got to yeah, sign up for. You the... have to sign up to be a driver. You're not just. <laughs> you're not just Ubering like like hitting, yeah. hitting a button and getting into some asshole's car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. What country do you go first? What do you think? What do you mean? If you're ordering, uh, ordering oh, if you're a ordering, <laughs> yeah. Freddie, you've thought about it. I know you've thought I've about it. I've watched a bunch of my friends go through this process. Who, I don't what, even what know what what are the what Start are the countries on the. We have probably former Eastern Bloc. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right? you have Russia, Czechoslovakia is a big one. Yeah. Um, Romania, Romania is a big one. Uh, fuck, the tiny, tiny country of Laos. <laughs> Very, it's a tiny country, but mighty people, Freddie. They have a mighty, <laughs> mighty soul over there. Um, yeah, I, th- I think those are the main ones. Like I, the ones that Latvia. everybody, Latvia, yeah. Um, it's all the ones like the whatever that you know, yeah, the former Crimean War, like that type of shit. Eastern Bloc. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just said it. So, wh- where are you going there, Freddie? Where's your first country? <laughs> well, I feel like you got to go. Like, is there is there <laughs> is there a Yelp? Can I see some reviews here? Like, I feel like I I just feel like I don't have enough information to make this decision. Right? Is there a world where you can look at it and be like, listen, actually, Latvia four and a half stars on average. I out wish of there was a Yelp for for dating. Oh yeah, for uh, I don't I don't know that you do. You oh, no, you're hilarious. never going to get a good review. Well, so I, wanted, I know, but it's funny. Jared was an excellent boyfriend. <laughs> he left me divorced, and then uh, the house was foreclosed. Like that, I had, a, a, I wanted to do an app for. Did I tell you about this one? KBBQ buddy. Did I talk about KBBQ no, buddy. No. Like I love Korean, Korean barbecue. A lot of places will not let you just go by yourself. You can't just solo it because they got so much food there. Like you can't just handle this by yourself. So the I, so, so they don't serve you. Well, it's just like they're just like no, no. You, you can't need book a, a table for one. You can't book a table saying. for one. Okay. However, with KBBQ buddy, okay, you can rate people based on like one. Do you want conversation? Do you want? Are you good at handling the grill? Are you more pork or beef based? And it's like a totally just. I need a buddy for KBBQ. <laughs> like, let's all meet here. And also, by the way, how is there not? By the way, I, I got, I got. If you, if I did Uber tomorrow, here's my idea. It's Uber, but you have a checkbox where it's like, do you want to talk or do you want to shut the fuck up? That's all yes. I want. Yes. That's all, that's that's all, all I, I want. Really I just want a little slider. Yeah. I'm surprised just like, there's not a smoking, no smoking yeah. toggle on there, too. Smoking, no smoking, uh, cologne, no cologne. There's so much heavy cologne when I get into a lot oh of these Oh, my Ubers God. Some I'm of like, those air fresheners, man. Just and you don't, you're really all. anti-female driver, too, right? I, I'm anti-females voting as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> driving. Um, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm anti-Uber. I hate it. It never works. Yeah, it's always fucked up. And now, well, you know what? It's 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 on a decline. Like two years ago, it was. Oh yeah, solid. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah now Agreed. it's it's not. Oh no, I I remember two years ago they had this promotion where it was like, hey, if you tweet about Uber, we'll put money into your like Uber account. So like, I, my car had just broken down, so I was just like every other day, I'm like, yo, Uber, and I was just like fucking topping my shit off, and I was Ubering everywhere. I met some of the craziest, like most interesting people. And they all are no longer like part of it. Like the best drivers I've ever seen. Like guys who were like, yeah, I was a former limo guy. I did like security for so-and-so. I had driven on. Like everyone had these crazy celebrity stories about all their driving stuff. And that's like former like London cab drivers. Like there was a guy who just didn't even need the GPS. He was just like, I know every address in LA. Like I just tell me where it is. I can tell you where it is on the map. I can go there. Like all those guys are gone. Yeah. So what does this tell you about the service? I'm surprised there's not more of these apps too because the barrier to entry has got to be really low. 
No, I think it's the technology. Like, well, they're losing money, but they're losing money. The, yeah, tech, the, the tech technology is basic. Is easy. The tech is basic, but they're losing money. The reason why Uber exists is because venture capital guys have just thrown so much cash at it in the hopes that they become a monopoly, basically. Well, and they, they also, they're waiting for that IPO to drop so they can cash out. So Yeah, which uh, is a bad sign. Yeah, I know. and it's But it's about to happen. Which is a bad sign. I know. So <laughs> Uber, I think it's the end of this year is, is when the IPO yeah. drops. And then I think all of those guys... Who had been pumping money into uh, Ashton Kutcher was one of them, yeah. I believe early. Um, he was early, I believe. Yeah, yeah real, real early. But so, the I mean, thing here's the thing: is a, a majority of people don't they think Uber is thriving? Yeah, like well, you so see when it, it everywhere, does it, IPO, it, it, like you're gonna have a bunch of people fucking buy into that because everybody's like, man, Uber's got to be doing great. I mean, most Uber gra- drivers don't even know that they have never made it into the black. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They're like, wait, what? Yeah. Like, yeah, the company's never even been profitable. No. Well, but we'll but find out. As soon as the IPO drops, we'll have an EBITDA statement to look at. Yeah. And then yeah. we'll know yeah. what the fuck's been going on for the last five years. Yeah, but it's become a, a verb. Like, hey, man, we're going to fucking Uber. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It became and Kleenex. It became it. Xerox, yeah, right? N- nobody nobody says Lyft. Although I see Lyft, but yeah. I, I, nobody ever says, let's get a Lyft. It's called, yeah, a, let's get a, fucking it's Lyft. called a category of one in the industry. Oh, really? Like Nike. I don't even like listening to you say Lyft. Lyft. Because it sounds like, <laughs> sounds like Lyft. you're using a Y and not I. Let's you can get tell. Let's you get, get tell. Lyft. Hey, let's get a Lyft in, Jared. <laughs> what, if, oh, get a Lyft. What, if, what if you ordered an Uber and Matthew McConaughey was your driver? Uh, hey, man, let's get a Lyft. Are you going to combi- combine Uber with what was that service that lets Ooh, you? Sh- that shout out? So you don't remember talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, That yeah. shout out one? Oh, God. App service? Any for- driver. What's it called? I forget, but I, I, I remember. It's called Pay the- Me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I remember for the time too. Do you remember the ones where the you could get a celebrity to voice your directions? Yeah. Oh uh, God. Was, yeah. Turn right, motherfucker. And it was like <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. And you're like, uh. easiest, easiest deal of those guys' lives. God yeah. One of my it. bosses had Elvis, and I'm like, dude, you got to turn this off, or I'm gonna quit. <laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> How did oh, Elvis oh, record that? Up ahead, baby, I'm like, get, turn that the fuck off. Yeah. How I'm, did I'm they armed. get that recorded? Uh, Snoop- oh, it's just some impressionist. So, yeah, some right? like uh, oh. in Vegas, I we had Snoop Dogg. There was like one oh, Vegas yeah. trip where every cab was Snoop Dogg, and it was just like. All I, right. I know some of the people who worked on the Tupac hologram. Best funniest story in the world. The guy who they got for the, for the physical model, perfect physical likeness of Tupac, down to the tattoos, everything, had like the highest voice. So they had to get a second guy to do the voice. No <laughs> so it's way. like, could you imagine that? You're, you're the perfect. You look like Tupac reborn. Yeah. You sound nothing like Tupac. Kind of like the movie, man. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you see that fucking movie? Guy looked identical. As soon as he opened his mouth, couldn't act with a shit. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thug life. Thug life. Yeah, no, uh, don't, buy it. don't buy it. fucking terrible. Yeah. If you were a... Sl- who, who would you be in a biopic, you think? Oh, me? Yeah. Well, you, you already played Jared Taylor. I already played the... <laughs> <laughs> I already played that JT. That was the best. Honestly... Probably Kim Jong Un. Let's be honest here. Like the closest <laughs> I could get. Like they're gonna be like, listen, that's about as close as we can get. And I'll be, you know, I got the look. I got yeah. the sort of despotic, you know. Have you ever played in, him in a sketch? No, I haven't. You ever cut your hair like him? <laughs> You'd have to go. Could you imagine going to a barber like, yeah, give Jong. me the Kim Jong. <laughs> yeah, give me the KJ, <laughs> like brother. Full KJ, please. <laughs> yeah. Give me that KJ. You, you just roll right from there to Korean barbecue. Oh, yeah. With your suit. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the very tight, like, collar up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if we make you up like Kim Jong-un and then just we'll create a security detail? <laughs> yeah. And just drive around L.A. for two weeks <laughs> yep. and film people's reactions. With us in the, the North Korean uniforms? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the security detail, you've seen those videos. Like, they don't, they don't seem they to ride in. They, like, the kind of jog outside, outside the fucking <laughs> car, dude. We can yeah, what's run, the... What kind of car do you have? <laughs> We could just run outside your car. I got Honda Odyssey. Boulevard. Yeah, in your Honda Odyssey, we're just running in black suits next to your car <laughs> down Sunset Boulevard. We just don't look very North Korean. No, I, I do. A little yeah, bit. yeah, I, I can see it in the beard. Dan's got the some beard, uh, very North Korean features. Yeah. Uh, wh- where's the best uh, KBBQ in this town? Ooh, all right. So it depends on the group that you're going with, but the sort of places that I recommend if you're new to it, there's a place called Quarters. If you're a little more of uh, into it and, and you know it, either Parks or there's a place across the street from Quarters called Kang Ho Dong Bak Chung. Uh, yeah, that's where I'd start. 
Man, maybe I'm going to depends wrong on place. the depends on depends on your group. Gukaku is always my jam. Gukaku is not even Korean. That's Japanese, bro. Is it really? Yeah. What's the fucking difference? Uh, <laughs> Big difference between the two. Yeah, How? yeah. What what is it? Uh, one was a war that we fought in the fifties. The other one bombed Pearl Harbor. So sure, that's a pretty sure, sure, major. Sure, sure. Got all that. Yeah. Food wise, what did that do to the food? <laughs> Not really seeing any yeah, similarities here. You were Freddie. talking about increasing radiation in your diet. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there you go. No, but but uh, how how was the barbecue different? Uh, it's like um, you t- t- generally tend to be more like pickled with the marinades in Korea, just because it's like, frankly, a was historically like a poorer country, so a lot of like it's peasant more food, right? Meat, more preserved yeah. stuff, and like you had more pickling involved, and yeah. Okay. And honestly, a lot of times, a lot of times, like the best food is from places that are poor because they had to get real crafty with making their shit taste good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's that's why Jared's a pretty de- decent chef. Oh yeah, yeah. he's got to get real crafty with the shit that he makes. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever had my ramen? No. Oh, it's amazing. You make ramen? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like seafood ramen. What, what's yeah? What's in the? I put scallops and shrimp and a bunch of crab. Really? And, and then uh, is it fresh or imitation? Uh, I go fresh. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, I hate the imitation yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I I won a bunch of imitation crab meat once. Like sorry, what? <laughs> I just won a bunch of imitation crab meat on where? Sorry, you need to expand on that one, I my did, man. Yeah, I didn't have a freezer or anything. <laughs> what the fuck? No, you're still skipping past the part yeah, that we're working. How did you win a hundred and sixty pounds worth of it imitation was crab? One of those things at the grocery store that you fill out with your email address. <laughs> you fill that Shut shit up. out. Well, why would you? Why would you fill that out? Because they were giving away crab meat. But you, it was imitation crab meat. He didn't have a freezer. Why would you? Yeah, would you do why would you fill that pounds? out in the first place? You couldn't even put that in your freezer, no, bro. No, I couldn't. I could only. So you about- regularly enter contests that you have no. You have. You want to win, but you can't actually hold on to the things Man, and stuff that sucks. I'm just honestly, Jared. I'm just gonna lie down on this couch. Right I now. haven't. What are you talking off. about? We're all done here, Jared. <laughs> what are you talking We're all about? Done. 160 pounds. Yeah, of well, mo- it all went How did they let you know? <laughs> they let, yeah, no <laughs> shit. It's in the garage and garbage bags. You have two. <laughs> you have two cars, and both of them have expired license plates on them. But you took the time to fill out some card <laughs> in a fucking grocery store. To win 100. Crab meat. Well, they had a. They, it was one of those like tasting things. Uh huh. Like where it's like, ooh, do you want to taste this? And, and you tasted it. A, they had it on a cracker. And it was and so some, good that you were like, you know what well, I need? 160 she, pounds well, of no, this. No, she was like, hey, we're doing a contest. Do you want to enter? I was like, well, what do I have to do? And they're like, fill out this little rip sheet. How did they? So when they let you know, what was your reaction to that? I was excited. <laughs> yeah, I left work early. <laughs> But then I realized I didn't have room in the fridge for it. <laughs> You're like the guy that signs up when people on the street come up to him and be like, and hey. And I forgot to put my trash out, so there was no room oh in the trash God. can. So it was just had to sit in my garage in some garbage bags. Oh, God. How do they deliver it? No, that when when I got there, it was just in like in like Safeway bags. Jesus in bags. Christ. Yeah. Imitation crab meat, Jared. There's a this is a new low. <laughs> like there's what? Days. It's fish. It's just fish. There's days. It's trigger fish. No, there's days. It is. I looked I it up. You know how they make imitation crab meat? You have. You have. Yeah, it's just white fish. Yeah, yeah. it's white fish. But most people don't have garbage bags full of it in their. <laughs> Yeah. Am I right? Cause <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. Of, I tried to you know? just put it in the living room and put the AC down really low, Jesus. and that didn't work. It started to smell, so I moved it in the garage. Oh, Jesus Christ. These right. are the kind of stories people tell right before, like, this story and the next one's in, and then I woke up in rehab. Three days <laughs> yeah, later. that's when yeah, I knew yeah, I yeah. hit rock bottom. Yeah, yeah. and I, I was listening to Stained. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> fucking, I, I had the heroin one hell <laughs> of a, of a, of a um, seafood sub that evening, though. Oh, you so you oh did you so eat a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I made I made I made it like old Subway seafood. Speaking of stained, Coffee or Dime magazine just did an article on Aaron Lewis. Really? Yeah. What's his story now? Country musician. Very, he keeps very telling popular. people to huh. fuck off at concerts, and they keep getting canceled. Really? Yeah. It, it, I I want to say last week uh, was the second time in like three months. He just told the crowd to go fuck themselves. Like you know. They were being too loud or something. He goes, can't, uh, yeah, he said, can you just shut the fuck up and let me play the music? And they just walked off the stage. Interesting. Very Burt Koontz. Yeah. Just well, walking right out of the podcast. I think Kanye does that from time to time, too. Some, you know, weird, some weird political rant that he just throws a mic down and walks out. He's fine with it unless the sound is fucked up. Who's that, Kanye? Kanye, yeah. yeah. If the sound is fucked up, he'll walk off the stage. And that I was at a show where he walked off the stage. 
I was like, the sound is fucked up. These people don't deserve this. Fix it. And he called out the sound engineers by name. Whoa. What would it, what would it yeah, take yeah. for you to walk off the stage if you were doing a live performance? Are you kidding? I'm so desperate for attention. Would, you could do anything to me. I'd stay on that stage, baby. I got to just soak it in that crowd. So he's going to be my star. <laughs> Quantum butt leap. <laughs> Quantum butt leap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where it's just a power bottom dude who just can't es- quit escaping. And it, but it's a straight guy. Uh, you can't yeah, escape you're, being a power like you're bottom. A, and it's a story. It's a story of a straight homophobic guy. But story com- of hope. It's well, true. Coming, it's like true. He becomes There's a real gay character. Activist There's a character he arc here. Like that's yeah. It's exactly yeah. what it is. So he he's a hateful homophobic. You know what's great about asshole. that is you can go all the way back to Greece. You can do just span all of human history. Oh yeah, this guy's. Yeah. Oh, we've got a cartoon to show you after this show. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That about Sp- Sparta sex. Yeah, Spartans. It's yeah. called uh, War of Pleasure. Yeah, War of Pleasure. Yeah. Coming soon. It is coming soon. Where Where is that going to be released, by the way? Uh, on Drinking Bros. Yeah, Drinkin Facebook. Bros. On Facebook. I, you don't think they'll pull that? They might. There's so they much might. graphic gay sex. I mean, I know, <laughs> it's, I know it's cartoons. It's a cartoon. Like, we'll brother. see. How, what is, what's the runtime on it? We just say about three or four minutes? It's like, yeah, yeah almost like four that. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so by, by the way to, to the audience at home this, yes this is a real thing <laughs> no this is not something we're making up this is actually already done we played it for one of the guests the other day on, yeah. the, on the big screen and they fucking died laughing I've never seen that many dudes butt fuck other dudes in a cartoon before <laughs> They're saying hold, records. I think we're holding a record for this one. I believe so. We'll, I'll tell you what. When, you when, should call when Guinness. Sh- when we wrap this show, you should call we'll, Guinness. We'll pop it on the, the big screen. Yeah. And you tell me. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, sure, for sure. It is like a, just. I I'd say there's a good hundred dudes, but fucking in it. Yeah, maybe three hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Nailed it. What's the What's the most graphic thing you've ever made? Most graphic thing we've ever made. Mostly just sort of gory shit, you know, heads and, and arms and Fingers, shit. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And anything ever been taken down where they were just like, hey, man, this is too fucked They, up. they, because we always, on YouTube, we always kind of rode the line because we never got really like, when we, when we did like blood hits, we would do powder as opposed to liquid, you know, so it was just a little more like abstract. Okay. You know, so we never really got to that point. There was a couple ones where it was like a few headshots in a row where I was like, eh, it got a little close and we got like flagged. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, this is gay sex, so, um, yeah. you know, a hundred like, dudes pounding each other. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to pass the old... Uh, I mean, it, we could classify it as historical. Yeah, we could. Yeah, educational. Way, educational. Quantum, educational. You educational. Can, you can go on YouTube and watch kids being born and things like that. Yeah. Well, well I got banned for a video on Facebook for showing a, a childbirth. Yeah, in, but in it was background. in the background of you singing a Christmas song. <laughs> It should have, though, was it, G- it. was it the birth of Jesus? Uh, no, it was Silent Night. It was a woman in the 70s. It was a health video that I put in the background <laughs> of it. It was like a green screen video, and she was crowning and gave the full baby no, on there. The next just... year when we did this second video to this, we found this website that had uh, hardcore gangsters making out. <laughs> yeah, so just tons of videos of hardcore gangsters making gay out. gang bangers like <laughs> Shutterstock.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. just but really going at it where you're just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. We put that in the background. You know, there's a whole you know there's a whole industry of customized pornography. Like no, people, it's, oh really? It's, it's starting to pick up now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You can yeah. order what you want. Like so are, are bespoke you, pornography. Are you are you paying them to d- to do? It? By the way, bespoke is is going to be a new sponsor of this show. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice insight yeah. there. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice yeah, I didn't know that. Is, oh, like, okay. Yeah, there you go. It is. Yeah. It's so, kind of like uh, Stitch Fix and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. How do you uh, uh, how do you order it? Uh, it's it's there's a little bit of a consultation as I understand it a little bit of a consultation process you kind of say what you want you kind of work with the producers for it and you pony up and they go shoot it for you. No way. Word. Man, I want to do that. Why? Like I don't want to order. You guys, oh my god, you guys, you guys Could should you order. Imagine? You guys should order porn, and you have to demand a lookalike to yourself. Oh, like we've, you we've, have to have lookalikes. We discussed god. this about giving each other <laughs> porn, porn videos of each other. Oh my god, fucking, fucking. No, their but you could, but you for, could. For <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like no, if it were me, if it were me, I would find lookalikes for you guys and just have you guys getting railed by dudes. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like quantum butt leap. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. mu- that's money well spent. Quantum butt leap. That's money well spent. Idea. How much do you think you can get out of there with a video for a porn like that? Oh gosh, I mean, I think that the because Jared, because imagine Jared on the phone with those motherfuckers. It'd be for an hour. Okay, so now <laughs> this, 
by minute three, I want them to to get the kids really excited to go to Disneyland. <laughs> Because they're leaving uh, for a trip. I think you'd have to pay for that Disneyland vacation. I think Jared would go into the make and model of the car, too. Of like, look. I bet you could get this video shot for 15K, probably. Yeah, yeah, I, I think mean, so. That's what it sounds like. production yeah. costs are pretty low, so. They are, but if you get specific, like. I mean, I'm, if you're looking for an exact. The look like, that the, might be I think the hard part is finding the look likes. But you, once you find one, once. That's it. That's all you got. The guy's Forever. number. If you're I find set. a guy that looks like you that's willing to get pounded in the ass on camera, your life is over. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be story swipes every oh day. Oh, my God. I promise you, I will spend every fucking dime I ever make. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, my, my, I, the original idea I told him, I was like, oh, for Christmas, I was going to hunt down... A hunt down a lookalike of your wife and then set this scene where it was like we were all hanging out and it's like, hey, I'm going to go get beer. <laughs> and they left. And then it just goes into this graphic pornography. So, are you married? No. Well, oh. yes, you are, Jared. Technically. Technically, you are. <laughs> yeah. Technically, you're still married with two kids. Yes. M- you're yes, married. That was my wife here. My so, here's uh, a question. Here's sure. a question. Here's a question for you. Yeah. They have. Uh, dildo molding services, right? You yes. send in a cast of your dong and they make a dildo out of it. Right. <laughs> Would my wife be down with that? With one molded off of his. Oh, God. You want to answer that? Can you hear this this fuckery in the other room, Jesse? <laughs> What's that? I kind of can. Jesse, go ahead and walk on in. Come on, come on over here. This is Jesse, my, my wife. Um, <laughs> This is, I, I feel like this is a hidden video show now, <laughs> Freddie. Yeah, like, exactly. This hypothetical's now turned into yeah, a real now thing. Now it's a real Because right behind this couch, I, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Shoot. So, yeah, so the question is they have uh, like dildo molding services where you can send in a cast of your penis and they'll make a dildo out of it. Okay. If he did this, right, and created. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> <laughs> and like hit it, right? And then you give it you gave it to to you as a gift. Sure. Yeah. Would you be okay with that? Both of you. <laughs> okay. Both. I want to hear from both of you. Would I you be okay? You would have to be in it? on the prank. Cuz there <laughs> Would I be okay? Okay. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go through it, everything that you said again. So I'm getting <laughs> Yes, correct. as a present from my husband. A loving gift, yes. Jared's dick. Well, <laughs> not literally, just just the form of it. Just the, you know, right. down to the millimeter. It's the exact the model. Exact, of yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. But what, do you, what do you mean by okay? You mean okay jamming and it up yeah. a clown whore or what? Are, what are we saying okay? Like are we Would okay? it get used? No. No, <laughs> the answer is no. Like, I can't. On, me, on me, it would not be used. No, no. no. You wouldn't want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not using it, but. I don't want to fuck you with my best friend's dick. And that no, like, that's oh, not no. what she asked. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> she asked if you would use it. Your best friends, you've been close. For a while. Yeah, you true. call each other in bed, FaceTime, <laughs> naked. So I'm Where's wondering. Where's this naked FaceTime? You talking FaceTime about using people it on me? from the shower I'm all the time. I'm not talking about using it That's at all. But you guys are That's talking about using question. it on me? I'm just, I'm just, listen, listen, man. No, no, I'm not cool with either. I don't want it used on you. I think or you him. have. I think you have the best Christmas gift for this year. Here's the uh, problem: yeah. like the funniest. Like, check this out. If you start sending your dick to everybody's wives, how for good Christmas, is that, dude? Yeah. And then just saying Merry Christmas. You know, you can yeah. also uh, get a you can also get a chocolate mold of your butthole made. You can, yeah. Yeah, but that's wait, wait, you know, you're one. you're just eating that. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I like it's, it. Here's if a, I, this here's, is way I'll, I'll put it to you this way. If I got Jared's chocolate asshole, I would eat it just because just of in the a time. second. You make an Instagram video of it and play it on loop, baby. Yeah, just just because if he took the time or whatever, and I'm eating Which chocolate, I, I never would. I've always said about Jared. Mm. This is just something I've always thought mm. about you. That you're the only one out of all of us that can probably pick your own asshole out of the lineup. <laughs> That's because he jerks you know off stale fish all the time. Like, what you? does that even mean? It means okay, think about all of, like what I, I would be like if you if my own was up there in the lineup, I would still have to be like, is that one? Do you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't know. Yeah, people You're say back for everyone else, like, it's like the back of your me. hand. For Jared, it's like the taint of my asshole. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I, I actually side with that. I think out of all of us, if we had to pick our own ass, I don't know my ass. I bet no, you same. know it exactly. No, he I don't. Like. He jerks off stale fish all the time, so he knows. Yeah, I get, you go stale fish a lot. Huh? Yep. Yep. That's the Love hypothetical you. of the year, right Love there. Love you. Love you. Mean it. Um, man, that yeah, you weren't expecting that. Yeah, she's gonna. And here's my wife now. Yeah. <laughs> No, but I remember like celebrities, uh, Woodstock, they yeah. plaster casters, and they would do that, um, you know, cast the dicks and stuff. But Hendrix and all those guys. Like, this is actually you, a real if, dildo. If, yeah, if you did, like, just think of the, like, if we could only hope that, like, Baker got into a relationship soon. <laughs> because then if we all just sent his new girlfriend this. Our dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah everybody. Yeah, what yeah. If you, we all what? have that friend that we would do this to. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What if, what if you replaced all the doorknobs all throughout your house with molds of your own cock? Ooh. Ah, big fan Every of that. time you fucking bitches come over to my house, you have to fucking touch my dick to get inside. <laughs> that I'm down That's some for. next level. That's some next level thinking there. I, I'd like yeah. a dick doorknob knocker, you know? Oh, just, oh like just like this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like floppy. Why I don't you want it hard instead of <laughs> gold. I want it real flat. But it's got a little piece of metal in the head, so it makes yeah, yeah, a nice it makes the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. A nice little no, wrap. See, I, yeah. think, I think maybe just going with a fork head out of it, so you just got to kind of, you know. No, so you're talking I, about making, eating your, why does it always come back to food with you, you yeah. fat fuck? God <laughs> damn it, Jared. <laughs> what? Nobody wants to eat their own dick. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it once, that one video. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, there was that, sh- that channel. Yeah, that yeah, 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 Olympics. yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing, though. You can't, uh, you couldn't make, you couldn't use yours anyways because your dick is curly like a pigtail. It's true. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah, they, we call him Babe. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's what he is. They don't He's call me a, babe. That, yeah, yeah, a lot of people. Oh call yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> it's got like a like yeah. when it's soft. When it hardens up, it gets straight. But when it's soft, it's curly. Like yeah, you got like a, curly, like an Arby's yeah. French fry. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> a seasoned <laughs> curly is what it season is. Seasoned curlies. Yeah, because I'm watching my figure. Yeah, watch, oh, watch watching my girlish figure. Great, great. Some style. of the best. Who are your inspirations coming up? Oh gosh. Uh, it's all like these Hong Kong movie dudes, right? Like Kim John John Woo, Kim sure, Jong Un, yeah. like huge big ups to him, getting that country under control. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> peace out, peace up to him. Yo, big word, him, yeah. my boy KJ, up in, up in the NK. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like it was like Hong Kong movie dudes, like like John Woo and shit. Like I, like nothing is cooler, even to me now. Then the stuff in John where it's like, this guy has two guns right. and he's jumping through a window and he's shooting these guns and there's those flying. Like everything about that is fantastic. Kung Fu Hustle was an amazing Kung Fu movie. Hustle is amazing. Did you ever see The Raid? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. A yeah. Fucking crazy movie. Fantastic. Dude. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like it's, it's, uh, yeah. Any, any movie, uh, there's actually, there's, there's, um, it's on Netflix now. It's called The Night Comes for Us. There's a director out of, I think, sorry? The Night Comes. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, one more time on the that title. Com- yeah, I'm having a little <laughs> little problem in the right ear here. The night comes for us. That sounds like a St. James Street James book. <laughs> Not a porno. No, don't search on Pornhub. Per- search on Netflix for it. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of that one, that one's got some fucking dope action fight scenes, violent I don't, shit. I don't believe I know that one, actually. Who, who did that? It's, uh, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the name, but I believe it's a Southeast Asian director who's like kind of an up-and-comer, but like the inventiveness of violence is gotcha. always like, it's pretty fucking gnarly. Do there's some parts that are a little bit like, eh, I don't buy it. Like the dude, like there's a part where the dude like takes cover behind like a coffee table, and there's like, did you, you know, see like, Death yeah. Note? Uh, no, not the not the uh, not yeah. the live action remake. Oh, I no. liked it. No, it was pretty. I heard brutal. it was. I heard it was pretty whatever. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know. That's Jared. It's kind of brutal. If it's pretty whatever, it's Jared's favorite movie. Oh, you'll love this movie then. <laughs> brutal, <laughs> like brutality Have you heard wise. Of the uh, Brown Note. Yes. <laughs> yes. I don't, I, I, Fred, I don't know Fred, what that explain is. the audience what a brown note is. The brown note is a theoretical frequency wha- that, when a low frequency, when played loud enough, will cause you to evacuate your bowels instantaneously. No way. Yes. Yeah, dude. Is this is this real? Yeah. So is it made by a government? <laughs> no, that's, that's the thing. Because so I, 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 you've heard in China now in Cuba, they've had to evacuate the U.S. Uh, ambassadors. Because mm. of that, there's there's some sonar. Oh, that's right. They were doing like Correct. weird microwave shit or something. Yes. Yeah, I heard about this. So yeah. they, they've evacuated two embassies now, um, and these they they've had like hearing problems and terrible. There's fucking a lot of stuff. So they, a lot of governments, probably including our own, have been experimenting with this. Oh, stuff for sure, for sure, for sure. Blasting certain frequencies that make people like X percent more irritable. Yeah. So they can cause riots or whatever the fucking case is. Or right. on the other side, 
like promote calmness during a riot, trying to blast the frequency out into the crowd to calm people down. Uh, but who the fuck knows, man? What? Yeah, uh, man. What was that Hong Kong like revenge thriller where the guy was like a Secret Service CIA guy? Uh, Infernal Affairs. No, no. And they, they murder his wife, so he keeps showing up and whooping the shit out of this guy to the point of like where he's almost dead and then he waits for him to get better and then he fucking <laughs> no, I've not heard this. Again. No, I've not heard this. It's the fucking best movie ever. Sure. He always leaves this guy like almost dead and then did gives you him see, about three months to did heal. Did you see the... F- then, that's really good. he goes back up again and whoops Did you see The Foreigner? Up. That was the Jackie Chan like comeback? No. Uh, that one was uh, a little bit frustrating because Jackie Chan's like, you know, his family dies in a, in a bomb and he's going after like the IRA leader played by uh, Pierce Brosnan. The problem is Pierce Brosnan straight up doesn't know who did it. Like it's not like he's hiding it from Jackie Chan. So Jackie shows up. And he's like, "Tell me who killed my family." And Pierce is like, "I I literally don't know." And then Jackie Chan just starts like fucking wrecking Wait, his I have shit. Seen this movie. And it's just like, man, I feel bad for Pierce Brosnan. He actually doesn't know. And this is like this guy's coming and wrecking all the shit all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. God, I would. I, he's well, we've all tortured the wrong person from time. <laughs> to time. Yeah, that's happened a lot. Scott Bakula. Yeah, well, I got him good. Yeah, yeah. Qu- Quantum Gay Leap. Quantum Gay Leap. <laughs> <laughs> Quantum Butt Leap. Oh, yeah, Quantum Butt Leap. Um, there's, there's always those fucked up movies now. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. What was your first fucked up movie that you watched that you were Ooh, just like, yo, I can't. Ninja cannot. Scroll. What was it? Whoa, whoa, sorry. Fucked up movie, like, in that. What was the first? What did you say? I, I thought I mean like fucked up. Like I was definitely too young for it. But there was this yeah, what, anime. Yeah, what was it? There was an anime called Ninja Scroll. Okay, yeah. which classic. was like a class a classic of like sex and violence in animated form. That was an eye opening experience for really? for uh, youth restricted viewing blockbuster twelve year old me. What, what what was so graphic about it? It's just fucking violent and it's just like fucking just yeah. It's I mean like a lot of the stuff that happens in anime is like you'll see a blade, you'll see like action looking stuff and then hear stuff but it won't show a blade going through something this one you're seeing like fucking shit get fucked up yeah really like yeah. legs cut off and but yeah. in terms of the internet side of things oh it has to be two girls one cup yeah i that was that was we one did of the a more challenge shocking. we did a challenge uh, friends <laughs> friends we did a challenge where it was like we had we each had to finish a quart of milk while watching two girls one cup oh that's Half hilarious. of us made Yeah, it. but you probably saw the BME Pain Olympics before Two Girls on Cup, right? That was like Yeah, the the, the, the one that I had the problem with is a guy cutting off his own dick and then yeah. and then uh Hibachi cooking it. Mm. And that's Looked where delicious, I had it. though. That was on that <laughs> that uh, not Korean barbecue, yeah. not that Korean barbecue. Site. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. That that one I had a real issue with. Um not a lot of them get me though. Where I'm yeah. just like, eh. And that it's probably like the shitty part of me where I'm like, God damn. No, man, that's probably fair. There was that anymore. one Russian one. I mean, not to get too deep into this, but there was that one Russian one where the the kid, the two teens. You remember this one where they killed that guy? They had a Chechen. Yeah, uh, no, it was, so, no, it was like two teens like on a murder spree yeah, with a screwdriver, yeah. and that one was like, oh yeah, I've that seen that one. one. That one came one. way after that the was Chechen one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Were they just stabbing people? No, they had shit? a. It was a drill. Uh, or was it the screwdriver? I, there was, there's probably there's probably both in the wild and wild wet world of the internet. Now these yeah. guys were stabbing a homeboy in the neck, chest, and head with a fucking screwdriver. Jesus yeah. Christ! Yeah, it was fucked. I mean, yeah, was that one was very. Uh, yeah, there's some bad shit on the internet, guys. I don't no, know if you guys terrible. know this. I mean, there used to be sites like. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Ogrish. Well, Ogrish is live leak now. You can still see a lot of stuff on there. Uh, but before that, uh, like the true, you remember the True Death Experience. No uh, videos. They used to pl- like advertise. You could buy them. Like that was a commercial uh, during yeah, Jerry Springer. Yeah, yeah. The horse one. That one got yeah, me. Mr. Hands with a yeah. yeah. The, the horse. Washington State, dude. born and bred. <laughs> 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 You're talking about the guy that got fucked to death by the horse. You hear yeah. That, <laughs> that one got me. Guys, yeah. that, I, I'll take that back. That was the one. That that really shocked my mind, where I was just like, I can't get that out of my mind. You know what's really interesting about this is that we have, being you know, sort of early, well, you know, the first people on the internet, we have like a collective societal memory of these, like right to the point where you can literally say, oh, that one word, and like people know what it is, right? Well, I was right. yeah. Last night I was talking about kind of the uh, birth of what I considered to be virality. Mm-hmm, so like, mm-hmm. w- what first happened was we had. These well, I I say the first truly violent website was Maddox, the base, best page in the universe. Yeah, I would say either that or go a little farther back. Mister T ate my balls. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But that era. I, but that I era. Don't, I don't know because Maddox had the first. It was all HTML, 
it was the first version of a blog site that had ever existed because people also didn't understand that when he wrote these that this wasn't real news or something yeah, because yeah, yeah, it yeah. was published on the internet. They're like, what the fuck? Like his first real viral thing that went out was he was grading children's yep. yeah, artwork. Yeah. And that just went all over, like, and and then he would publish the hate mail from people, like, I can't believe you would say this about yeah, my kids yeah, drawing, yeah, yeah. like, and then from there, man, how flash. far? By the way, how far have we come that a guy is like making fun of kids' crayon drawings Boy. would incense people? We are light years yeah. beyond that now. <laughs> yeah, so right. Then f- Macromedia Flash in 2000, 2001 jumped the gun, and we got Homestar Runner, Homestar Able Runner, Press, definitely, yeah, uh, New Grounds, uh, E Bombs World, E Bombs World, yeah. yeah. What happened to E Bombs World? Dude Still cashed around. out. Oh. Really? A guy named Eric Bauman. Yeah, like built it, cashed out. What did, what did he sell it for? Do you know? I believe quite a bit of cash, like enough no that he's shit. like, and fuck he was just you, like money. Deuce McGruce. Yeah. So is it up. still a, a site or uh, probably? But yeah, I assume, I think it is. yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And then like that early internet had so six. many examples of that. By the way, I, there's so many people I know. Like I knew a guy, and he was like, he didn't appear to have a job, and he was like helping us out with video stuff, and like, and we're like, what? Do you, sorry, like, what do you do? Like, because yeah. he seemed to be like no job, but like lived in a nice place, had a nice car. We're like, what do you? What do you do? He's like, oh, I ran. One of the lar- I ran the largest Britney Spears fan site uh, when I was in like when I was younger and I sold it. You're like, no shit. You're like there's kidding. so many examples of that where during that era, that early internet era where people were just like finding stuff. Like I remember hearing about like you talking about CPMs, right? Yeah. Like, YouTube is like two bucks, three bucks. I remember he was talking about like, yeah, you want what yeah, why why do we do pop ups? Those were like eighty dollar CPMs. Those were ninety dollar CPMs well, for what? every oh, pop up. $90? Like that, at, like at that time, because nobody knew. They're like, yeah, so we would do like three pop ups, and we would just be making bank off of just all the people coming to. Yeah, that Holy was just that. Shit. But that was again, that was that very early gold rush. You had one one thousandth of the content on the internet. Yeah, so all these sites saw massive traffic. I, I mean, had, a buddy of mine was uh, a squatter, so he bought oh no shit yeah w- yeah websites, and he made a fuck ton of money. Yeah, um, and I mean to this day he's. Still making the one that always gets me is you guys remember the million dollar website that guy who was like I'm gonna sell one pixel of this ten a thousand by a thousand image and one pixel is a dollar you can buy a block of ten pixels ten by ten so you pay me a hundred bucks you can put whatever you want in it and he was just like it just slowly started and everyone bought like oh a little thing and people bought like squares and you had like Golden Palace Casino bought like a big chunk of it and stuff and he's just like cool million bucks baby. No way. That's that that's funny. the one where I'm like, I know there's no time machine because I didn't tell myself to do that shit. Because <laughs> if there was a time machine, I'd be telling myself, I'd be like, hey, listen, motherfucker, thousand by a thousand is a million pixels. Sell each one for a dollar. Buy piece out. Also Bitcoin. Yeah. Leave it ten thousand. Yeah. What's what's Bitcoin at now? Psst, what three, four? So I don't know. Somewhere. Oh God, it went down that much. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It went yeah, way down. What did it get up to, shit. like 17.5? Yeah, 17. 17 was like the, high, the yeah, highest yeah, peak. Yeah, yeah. Did you have any Bitcoin? I'm surprised you so, didn't. I, so Okay, so here's here's what I say about Bitcoin. I got in on Bitcoin when it was $10 a coin. And at the time, one, there was nothing to buy with it, really. It was all like just illegal shit, and everyone didn't know what to do with it. A and goat I, leg. Yeah, 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 just legs, yeah. Um, But it took me, like I'm a fairly technically minded individual. I, I talk to people like, oh, dude, because this was before Coinbase. Coinbase made it really easy to get in on it. Before that, you had to fucking like, oh, you're making your own wallet. You have to je- you have to look up. There's so much shit you have to look up that anybody who's like, oh, I should have got in when it was this. I'm like, motherfucker, you would have never figured it out. Like, I was a, I'm a nerd. It took me a good few days of just like reading forums and being like, how the fuck do I even get this? It was like so complicated to figure oh, out at that time. God. I've sold it at various times, and each time I made enough money off of it to build the computer I'm using. So the computer I'm using right now is based off of when I sold it. I shouldn't have sold it. This was the best investment strategy for Bitcoin. It should have been. I should have bought it, and I should have been an idiot and forgot about it. Because right. the problem was I knew about it. And then I'd be like, oh, shit, I think I have some Bitcoin. Like, oh, I could sell this and make a, make enough, I make a couple grand and build a computer. I'll do that. And then it's like, I think I, when I last got out of it, it was 500 a coin. I was like, yo, that's pretty good. Yeah. From 10 to 500? Yeah. That's a, that's a gain right there. I know the Winkle sure the hell boss. Not. It's the Winklevi. They've got a lot of money in Bitcoin. The Winklevi. They do. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you remember around 2006 when those sites started 
it was a crazy pyramid scheme, but you had to watch 12 ads. Yes. And then, oh, I yes, got it on yes, that. Yes, and, yes, yes, yes. But that's yes. what you were saying. You have to create this weird digital wallet. Yeah. They would, they would transfer yeah, your yeah, money yeah, into to, that. Yeah, exactly. If, if you got out, like if you were not if you were not enticed to keep doing it. Exactly. And you had got out. I knew some of my friends that made, you know, like 20 grand. But then after like six months, the FBI raided those guys and everybody's yeah. shit got locked up. But yeah. you all just had your balance hanging in a digital space. Yeah. So yeah. It was Here's like 12 daily pro. You hear, you hear about that, by the way, you hear about a Bitcoin guy who disappeared to India. Oh, yeah. And then he, you hear about this? Yes. <laughs> he disappeared the same way that Hillary Clinton's rivals disappear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's, it's at the bottom of fucking rivers. So yeah. What? Who was this dude? Oh, he 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 was he was like a he was like the CEO of like a big Bitcoin exchange. Yep. He like went on vacation to India and then he died. They're like, oh yeah, here's the death certificate. And then also they're like, wait, he's the only one with the password. And also the accounts are empty now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I wonder if he homeboy's on an island right now. Just he's either got a different name somewhere, or somebody fucking carved or someone figured the it information out. Information out of him. Yeah. One yeah. of the two. Or, or he, you know, faked his own death. He's on it. That's a, what I mean. He took all yeah. the like money. He's, he's, either on got, a, he's either operating in a new identity, or he is some, getting a, he's getting a, I think he's up. getting a basket weave somewhere in the in the Caribbean. Can you show the audience what you mean by that? Yeah, basket weave is traditional. You got to you got to intertwine your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer down on that. You know? Uh, get elbows out, obviously. Oh, uh, perfect. As wide as possible. Yeah. yeah, it's a leverage. It's a leverage you thing. You gotta have leverage. Here's in what I don't world. understand about crypto. Uh, why hasn't Amazon, with the size of the company they are and the the variety of offerings they mm -hmm, have, mm -hmm. could become a government right now? Yeah. If they made their own cryptocurrency. Like yeah. Probably. They would, they would offer you everything you could ever need. Basic Hell, I mean, I pretty much buy price. everything at this point same, on Amazon. Same, yeah. Same thing. So it, if they came out with their own cryptocurrency, they could set the fucking value of it versus against the U.S. dollar and fucking do that China strategy. Holy exactly. shit, dude! And and I look, I'd buy it. I mean, and there's not shit the U.S. government could do about it. No, because I don't trust a lot of things in this world. Amazon, though, I I trust every single time. I've rarely been wrong on Amazon. I love like, how over me. the course of our lives we've shifted from. Order on Amazon five days. Okay, that's cool. To order on Amazon if it's not fucking here by tomorrow. Yeah, like, I'm losing all of the shit yeah. inside of my body on the porch. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, I'm the same man. I'm the same. Oh, and if an order gets canceled from Amazon, I'm fucking angered. That just happened with a Pelican case, and I was just like, God damn it, man. Bad review. Fuck you. Fuck your whole company. Blah, 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 blah. Like you rage on them, you know? Yeah, but it's like, dude. Cut to three years ago. It's no. like, what two-day shipping? Are you kidding? No, yeah. early eBay was sketchy. Oh, early oh, eBay was so eBay good. A++ plus, plus, plus will buy again. You remember the ratings? Exactly. I love yeah, the yeah, ratings yeah, on yeah, eBay. Yeah. Great communication. Love to work with the seller again. No, you don't. 10 out of 10 yeah. would buy again. You, Fast shipping. You bought a fucking Donruss Raleigh Fingers card. <laughs> you know, like, oh, I'm definitely buying again. Yeah, you're going to buy another fucking Raleigh Fingers card from 1984? Fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, now's the point in the show where we get to the drinking bro of the week, Freddie. Okay. Uh, somebody who inspired you, helped you out on the come up. Ooh, who helped me or out on the come up? in this life that you're super proud of. Or if you... Like, oh, you know what? I'll say this. I'll say this. My brother Jimmy's killing it right now. What's he doing? He's doing so much good shit. So one, he has the biggest magic podcast, Magic the Gathering. We were speaking, by the way, speaking of eBay. Magic the Gathering still holds this value you want to talk about good investments domino's Damn. pizza magic cards like because what happened was all the everybody that grew up being like damn i wish i could buy magic cards all the time all these nerds became tech billionaires and they're like oh shit i can buy magic cards all the time and then they do so he's he's got a he's got a magic the gathering podcast that's fucking killing it he's gonna be in the new mulan not as really? Mulan, yeah. That's fucking dope. Yeah. God damn. He just dude. got back from New Zealand. He was in New Zealand. This like the Wong just chilling, killing. Oh, Jimmy's doing good. Damn it, man. Also, the worst thing ever though was in New when he was in New Zealand because it was just like uh, he, he doesn't call me, he doesn't text me. I live with him, he doesn't text me. Instagram posts. It was just like every other week. He's like, "You hang gliding, woo, bungee jumping in New Zealand." It's like, what are you doing? This is the I should have been an actor. I should have been much hotter. Clearly. Yeah. yeah. Now you're doing all right for yourself, Freddie. Okay. Yeah. Not not Jimmy Wong good. <laughs> but Jimmy Wong good. You know what I'm saying? Let's get Jimmy Wong on this yeah. fucking podcast uh, next time. Has you know? he been on an episode of uh, Key and Peele? Because that's true. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. I, I, do, I do have that I one know. on him. You do. Which one are we in? 
Uh, I was on there. We did one with them uh, called uh, Mexican Standoff. Oh yes, yes, and yes. Then it's, it's I was on fun. their. I was on one of their uh, shows just in the background for just a quick little bit. Uh, That's on dope. One of, their, one of their episodes. Those guys good, are doing good right. guys. Good guys. It's always hilarious to see like Jordan Peele's like meteoric rise to success and being like, I. <laughs> my friend Brian literally just tweeted this yesterday. He was like, I co-wrote one of the dumbest sketches of all time that uh, Jordan Peele was in, and I think. Uh, uh, where he had to play a blueberry pie. And uh, I think that uh, he got me back on it by making my hometown of Santa Cruz a literal bloodbath in his new movie. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you see it? I did. Yeah. I just What'd saw it yesterday. Think? It was all right. I thought that uh, I, did, I, I, I think it. I liked I, I think I liked um, I think I like Get Out a lot more. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm definitely thinking about it. I'm like, eh, I, I think that just from a from a like, yeah, I just there's, I, 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 that was all right. That was all right. Same. I, yeah, we, we, we saw it opening night and we didn't really dig it. Yeah, I think a lot of people, I think a lot, part of it is a lot of people coming and expecting like a horror slasher. It's not quite that as, as much as it There's is. Moments. There's, There's moments. There's moments for sure. Yeah, but it's, it's hard. Uh, here was what I told Dan on the way home with that, right? Cause yeah. I'll, I'll never shit on any filmmaker, you know? No, I, I think, by the way, like, by the I way, I don't even care if it's cinematography, or whoever it cinematography, is. incredible, performances, incredible. And the way in this they one. wove music into it. The way it they wove really music into good. it, really, really and good. Peter Nuango could and he, literally oh. be nominated for an Oscar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, and geez. also, I think he's a master of figuring out how to do tension and release with humor. Like, yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, nobody is even touching him right now on that For front. sure. I, 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 my biggest thing with it when I told Dan is when you hit that massive massive worldwide success like that yeah the first thing a studio does throw a pile of cash in your face say give me your next movie as fast as you can yeah so I think if he would have had more time to oh work no on I can that, see that like, like there's never any time you've ever seen a director get to do whatever they want it's never their best movie yeah like there's plenty of examples of times when it's like that post success they're like cool have as much money as you want do whatever you want like you free pass in a way I feel like a lot of the a lot of the restrictions you get is what makes you good, right? You have to deal with restrictions. Like finding creative solutions. Having to, to, get having to yeah. do that, right? Yeah. 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 Sounds, yeah. Robert Rodriguez style. Well, I know yeah. Get Out had a different ending um, originally. Oh, yeah, it yeah. didn't test well, and like a friend of ours works on that, and it was just like, it was the ending I wanted, but he said the audience was just like mortified. Of like, yeah, Fuck yeah, you. yeah. So may- maybe there is something to that because, you know, it, it broke every record. You see the box office numbers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's d- destroyed. So who's going to tell him to do anything now? Yeah, I guess it's 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 we're in that weird world where what defines success in Hollywood is either it wins awards or it makes money, right? That's what good is. Right. Not maybe not necessarily objectively good, like in terms of artistically or you know, for what if you're looking at it from that perspective. But if it makes money, it's good. Well, I think there's a good chance this is gonna do both again, like get out did. Yeah. Yeah. Like just because it made look, it made like, seventy million dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's wild. I mean, the movie it, itself, I thought like we've discussed it ad nauseum now, but a, a lot of stuff that I, that probably didn't go the way it should have but uh the performances the actors performances in the movie are fucking great oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I, by the way i love tim heidecker yeah yeah in it right you I totally don't ex- awesome yeah anyways. i think he's fantastic the and it's just like he's one of my favorite films oh yeah it's just so ridiculous there's a dick and balls 30 seconds in whenever there's a dick and balls <laughs> in your face 30 seconds in i'm all in every single time there was another one that gavin mcginnis wrote and directed that was really good called how to be a man and that was the same thing where like he's talking to his unborn child yeah on a computer just making a video to him saying hey i'm your dad and I'm not sure if i'm gonna die i think i have cancer but i just want to say i love you somebody comes to the door and he just gets up and he's completely <laughs> dick and balls into the camera you're just like oh fuck oh fuck 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 <laughs> it's all in all in right to that. uh freddie wong you're one of our favorite guests man thank you thank you for having thank me for on coming. as I, always your third time man is this is uh, yeah yeah i that's probably a record. Uh, you're for real. Funniest oh, dudes yeah, on the thank planet. Thank you, man. Uh, thank where you. can everybody find you on social media? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at F Wong, and we're doing a new podcast. It's a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. So, you know, some nerdy ass shit. But I don't know. You might be into some nerdy ass shit. Yeah. Uh, it's called, actually, we have Drinking Bros Nerds. Yeah, Drinking yes. Bros Nerds. It's yeah, called, uh, yes. It's called Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. Okay. It is, uh, Dungeons and Dragons podcast. It's about four dads. Like, the, the joke is we were like, it was on Father's Day. I was talking to the guy who's our DM. I was like, do you realize that all the like fantasy archetypes in D and D are just dad archetypes? So it's like the bard is basically just a classic rock loving dad. Like the druid is basically just a like Bernie bro granola dad. Like obviously, so it's about four dads from our world sent into the world of D and D trying to rescue their kids, and they're just modern actual dads. And also they drive a minivan around. It's a lot of fun. That's uh, awesome. And that's dungeonsanddaddies.com or you know podcast. Do a search for that. Yeah, but that's me, bro. Awesome, man. Thanks oh, for having yeah. me, man. Freddie Wong, everybody. Uh, for Jared Taylor, 
D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. I'm Ross Patterson. We're the Drinking Bros. Good night, everyone. <laughs>